of parts and repair. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood heard that bad boy. This is that Super XP 1130 automatic that uh, I think I put a video up. I think I put one up earlier. I won't swear to it. Yeah, the oiler's working. It's making a mess, too. Nice. Um, anyway, I finally got into it. Took care of the carb work that it needed, additional carb work that it needed tonight. I can't say exactly, actually I do know, it wasn't the carb. I did, you know, some minor adjustments in there and re-cleaned everything, but the fuel hose that had been installed, somebody had gotten a little rough with, and right at the barb there was a pinhole. Hence it would not rev up. Sucks more air than it does fuel, it ain't gonna go. But, I mean, this thing is cool. Make sure that's zoomed all the way out. It does not have the original serial tag, unfortunately. We all know it's pretty common on these home lights and a lot of vintage saws to have that missing. You just hope you don't end up with somebody's saw that was stolen however long ago. Paint is in fairly rough shape, but it is original, and I will be cleaning this up just a little bit before I do the pictures for the website. And again, this is another model that you can be certain will appear in the calendar. I can't really tell what the hell is written on the front here. It says Ford Free Service something. S-C-I-T-U-A-T-E. I don't know if that's a name, but why the hell they would have Ford scratched into a home light eh, beats me. I don't know. This is a half inch chain. That half inch sprocket's in pretty good shape. All the adjusters and plates pieces are there and intact. The tank is still, or the guard, the chain guard for the tank is still in place there. See if I can do this. Oh shit. The heavy thing. I don't think I can keep that in frame. That bar is too long. We'll start with. Here's this side of the engine. I did find a muffler guard that I have since installed. The chrome muffler cap is actually in pretty good shape. There is gear oil in it. I'm trying to remember if I already changed that out. I think I did. In fact, I know I did. And I haven't had a new leak appear, so that's a plus. So your... I always screw this up, but your automatic oiler is... or your oil tank is down here it's got a long plunger for the manual oiler that goes way down there. Your gear oil fills what's up front and you fill it with that plug out and as soon as oil runs out of that plug, you've, you're full, plug it off, where you go. So it's a wet clutch. The bar did come with it. <clears throat> I'll see if I can... It's a hard nose bar. But it's in good shape and with this nice chain on it I could foresee taking this thing up to the firewood hill. Oh, anyway. Oh, come on. Don't ding it up. Home light, Super XP 1130 automatic for the collection. Really, really happy to have it.